song for them. Diamond and Silk, the internet sensations that were, in my opinion, instrumental in getting Donald Trump elected president. And we've already talked about the fake news. And let's get aboard the Trump train with Diamond and Silk. And they are here with us this morning. And if you if you stand in the way of the train, you might get run over. That's what the left wing right now are being run over and per- per- perpetuating this fake news. Ladies, good morning. Welcome back to the show. Good morning. morning. Thank Thank you you for for having us. Uh, We love having you on our program, Diamond and Silk, with us. And we have to talk about fake news because it's all over the place. Uh, Yeah. Last night, I don't know whether you saw this report, that uh, CNN, the New York Times, the LA Times, and Politico claim that they were banned from a press briefing. And they weren't banned at all. They were in a smaller room. The White House explained everything. They have pool reporters, so if there there are not enough places for the media, the the pool reporters are there to report and share the information with everyone. This is the definition of fake news. It's called very fake news. Mm -hmm. And that's why we don't believe these people. We don't believe anything that they say. They say things to try to influence the American people to try to make it look like it's chaos going on when we know that it's not. So we just ignore those people. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, they made it into a big, big story that they were banned. And 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 look, and you try look, I try not to even engage with the left wing because they're really mentally ill. There's no getting through (laughs) sometimes to them. You talk about irredeemable. They're the ones who are um, irredeemable. Um, And I try to explain to them there were pool reporters. The White House didn't ban anybody. They invited the pool reporters who broadcast the information to everyone. The transcripts are readily available of Sean Spicer's press briefing. And they're making it a big deal. And, and, um, you know, it's absolutely ridiculous. But That's what happens when spoiled brats are used to get in their way. <laughs> Absolutely. And see, some of those people think that they're supposed to be everywhere when mm-hmm. we, because of, our, because of our status. Listen, there are so many more people that are trying to report the news on President Trump. And so I'm so happy that he's also giving those people a fair shot at all of this, too. So, mm-hmm. look... <laughs> We have to keep it moving, and we have to ignore the very fake news. <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, he defined it as very, very fake news. Um, you know, this is very disturbing uh, that we have leaks coming from the FBI that apparently uh, former President Obama um, has moles. He has moles all over the place. Um, some are calling it a shadow government. Uh, some of the regulations that were in place um, t- for classified information, uh, he signed an executive order just a few weeks mm-hmm. before President Trump was inaugurated, allowing more and more agencies to have access to this classified information. They're leaking it to the media. Uh, this is just an absolutely dirty trick. They're trying to delegitimize President Trump. And I don't blame the president for coming out and speaking his mind and telling the truth about what's going on, that there are uh, there's infiltrations in our intelligence agencies that are leaking this information. And Obama made it so by allowing I think it's now 16 agencies can have classified information. Uh, This has to stop. It really do. And kudos to our president for even letting the American people know, you know, when he did the rally the other week, which we was there Mm -hmm. because we had to open up for it. Mm -hmm. I was so happy that he put the media on blast and he started talking about things that the he he came directly to the to the American people, taking his message directly to the American people and bypassing the news so that we will know what's going on. As far as these leakers, shame on the uh, previous president, Mm -hmm. Obama. For taking and having that set up like that to um, not only delegitimize, but try to hurt 
the Trump administration with all of this foolishness. And, you know, those people that's leaking out this information, they should be made. They should go to jail for that. They should go to jail. And whenever they catch them, they, because to me, that's treason. You do not. That is, it, you know they can get somebody killed. Do you know that if somebody leak out the wrong intelligence, somebody can get killed over that? So that's, that's very serious. It's very serious. It's not games. It's nothing to play with. And you know what? We're going to get to the bottom of these leakers. We are going to find out who is leaking this information. Mm-hmm. And all of Obama people need to be out of there. Right. I don't know who decision it was to keep any of his people. Mm-hmm. They should be out of there. Give them their pink slips. They have to go. Uh, Diamond and Silk with us, the very beautiful ladies from North Carolina, instrumental in getting Trump elected, winning North Carolina. Uh, and you mentioned the rally in uh, Melbourne, Florida last mm-hmm. Saturday. Uh, I was so proud to be an American listening to our president speak, the very beautiful Melania. And it just goes to show you how disgusting the opposition is when Melania gets criticized for saying the Lord's Prayer. They don't believe in God. They do not believe in God. They act like they own the prayer. The left does not own the Lord's Prayer. Our first lady can say the Lord's Prayer, and then they get mad at her because she read it. I don't care if she was reading it from her hand. She said it, period. That's right. And if they are so concerned about the Lord's Prayer, then why don't they bring back God and some of their stuff? They're too afraid to say say God, say his name. Right. Uh, I just couldn't believe that she was criticized for that. I mean, you know, of all the things to go after, uh, you know, remember in the uh, Democratic National Convention a couple of years ago, they booed God. I mean, so, you know, these people are godless. A lot of them are hopeless. It's uh, Mm -hmm. it's pretty amazing. Um, And see that liberal agenda. It's a liberal agenda going on, and they're trying to continue to push that. I don't think it's going to work. I think people are so fed up. I even think there are some Democrats just packing their stuff, getting off of that plantation because right. it's too much foolishness. Yeah, you know, kind of you're so. trying to delegitimize our president. Um, you're trying to push these fake news stories. The liberals out in the streets, they're marching and they're acting crazy. They're trying to shut down town halls. They're not doing it with the Democrats, but just only with the Republicans. I mean, people are looking at this, and they don't like it, and they think this is going to be a push for them to get it in four years. It's Mm -hmm. going to be a push for them to lose it in four years. People don't like seeing this here because you can't be a sore loser. You've got to be a happy happy (laughs) loser. You can't be a sore loser. When they see you being a sore loser, it turns people off. And when you see all of this chaos that's going on across our country, we're all turned off about it. That lets me know President Trump going to get it for another four years. And if they really didn't want President Trump, then they should have voted for a crooked Hillary. That's right. And certainly they are a bunch of whining crybabies. <laughs> There's no question <laughs> about that. Uh, you know, they all got trophies. Nobody lost. And, and now you're seeing it play out uh, right in front of our faces. It, it certainly seems uh, in at least our area that illegal immigration uh, is being portrayed uh, falsely by the left wing and by the media. First of all, they never use the word illegal. They're saying immigrants. No, it's illegal immigrants Absolutely. that were. Yeah. So this that's a fake news. That's a lie right there. Mm-hmm. Uh, We had a situation where we had a councilman from Atlantic City write on Facebook that they were doing door-to-door raids uh, in Pleasantville, which is about six miles from Atlantic City, which was fake news. Mm -hmm. They were looking for one individual. How is... How is ICE supposed to do their job unless they go, you know, this was a convicted felon. They were looking for the person and they are doing anything that they can to make it seem as though that um, if you are against illegal immigrants, if you are for the rule of law, you are a racist, you are this, you are that. And the bottom line is, if you're a felon, and you're an elite. First of all, you're an illegal alien. You've already committed a crime. And then, if you're a felon on top of it, get them the hell 
out of our country. That's right. That's right. Um, Absolutely. And very interesting. They glorified an illegal alien on the front page of our local newspaper on Friday. And mm. then in the a story above that, there's an individual who allegedly committed a murder on sat- last Saturday night in Atlantic City who has an unknown immigration status and was a convicted felon before who should not have been allowed in our country. But you don't see the headlines, a uh, person with um, uh, unidentified immigration status commits murder. You'll never see that in the headlines. Um, and quite frankly, we are for legal immigrants who come into this country legally. Absolutely. Right. When you cross the border, and what they don't understand, if you you could, if you are an illegal immigrant, you you committed your first crime when you crossed the border mm-hmm. <laughs> illegally. Mm-hmm. That's the number one thing. You know what I see when the media they like to sensationalize a story so they can get a reaction out of the American people. They want to make it look like that. Oh, somebody is going ripping families apart and, and just ripping people apart and just throwing mm-hmm. them out of the country, which is untrue. I even heard that they're trying to build something like an underground. Underground world world, underground houses for illegal immigrants to stay in. Ain't that aiding and abating? Mm-hmm. Can't you go to jail for aiding and abating? Mm-hmm. You can't do that. Can you actually do that and get away with it? Mm-hmm. And then I really wish people would care about Americans the way they care about other people that's not even from our country and don't choose to be a part of our country. When you come here to America, you should want to be American. That's right. You should want to take part in what we do over here, not come over here to use us. That's right. And keep in mind that catch and release are for the fishes and sanctuary are for the birds, not illegal immigrants. <laughs> I love it. You got it right, Silk. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is uh, it is such a ridiculous situation. What's going on now? I mean, uh, I think the great analogy is: Do you lock your door at your home at night? Of course you do. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and and I, and I think that um, uh, for people to make this sort of a racist type thing, we just want the laws to be followed. <laughs> The laws enforce, and we lock our doors not to keep people out, but to keep the people on the inside safe. That's Safety right. is the number one goal. We have to know who's walking among us. We cannot have illegal immigrants coming over here to this country and, and doing committing criminal acts and thinking that they can stay in this country and make money and do all of that and not pay taxes. You, that's not going to happen. We can't. We, we just can't do that anymore. That's right. And so we have to follow the law. It's time to enforce the law. When you enforce the law, you won't have these problems. Enforce the law. That's right. An illegal immigrant is not a race or a right. It is a crime. That's right. Keep and that's that what they're mind. not saying. That's, that's what right. they're not saying. And they need to tell the truth about the uh, uh, situation. And when they come over here, listen, I don't understand why the left want to make slaves out of illegal immigrants. Mm-hmm. Why do you want them hiding in the shadows? Mm-hmm. Why don't you want them out? They need this time for them to get in line and wait their turn and do what the other beautiful immigrants of this country did. That's right. Diamond and Silk are with us, the very beautiful Trump supporters. Uh, like them on Facebook, trying to get up to one million. They're closing in on one million mm-hmm. likes over there. Mm-hmm. Um I believe that uh, President Trump said that um, the, his cabinet hasn't been confirmed. It's taking longer. I think the longest was George Washington or something like that. I mean, the Democrats will do anything, anything to to help our country and move our country forward. Do you think that the the cabinet will be confirmed by uh, next year? <laughs> well, if the Democrats would do anything to help our government and move our country forward, then 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 people should be getting confirmed. Mm-hmm. All of this here, people that us that's not getting confirmed, what is the hold up? Especially with Dr. Ben Carson, he should have been confirmed. I don't even think he's confirmed yet. What what's the what are we holding up? Because we want a government that's going to run smoothly. That's the one thing. Mm-hmm. A- another thing is, you know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I I just don't know about the, the Democrats. We're going to fix it where it ain't going to be no party. It's just going to be make America great again. That's right. That's it, <laughs> because I'm just, I get tired when I look at both sides sometimes. Even when I look at some of these Republican elites, I, 
out of the country talking about or talking down our president. Mm-hmm. That bothers me and really makes me mad, too. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I, I, just, I don't get it. Right, Diamond and Silk, they lose the election, then they double down on the stupid stuff that lost them the elections. There you go. <laughs> I mean, they they, are, and that will keep, keep them... Um, losing elections from days to come because people don't like all of this foolishness. They are paying attention and they are looking at what's going on. That's right. And, and that's how they're going to lose again. And they got to remem- remember that the silent majority have spoken. We are no longer asleep. We see exactly what's going on, and we also see what's been keeping this country stagnated. So those Democrats need to stop being spoiled brats. Get off their behinds, a feet of do nothing, and get out of our way. That's Allow right. our president to do his job. It is his cabinet. This is who he picked. Let him do his job. That's we allow President Obama eight years, so let's give President Trump eight years. That's right. And Diamond and Silk, we have so much fake news. We need a daily show with Diamond and Silk. <laughs> I am I am writing I'm starting it right now a campaign fire Shepard Smith and put Diamond and Silk on Fox News. I don't even know what time he's on. Three o'clock. I turn it yeah. off. Oh my three, goodness. three to four. Him. Diamond really and Silk every him. day. Now he should go to another news network. Fox is just not a, a good fit for him. I literally have to turn the TV when he come on. I, it's crazy. I know. I mean, and I stopped watching General Hospital. I have nothing to watch at three o'clock now. Uh, they are so famous. Uh, the first of all, let me. I know we we're running out of time here. The Academy Awards. I, I'm not going to watch it. I know they're going to bash our president. What? A, and uh, Jimmy Kimmel's going to be the host. He's going to bash Trump. Um, uh, what about Joy Vila? who came out in the Make America a Great Dress Again at the Grammys, and her song came out as the top 15 on Billboard. No one even heard of her before that. It's just showing you that the president does have a lot of support. Oh, yes. I was happy to see her in that dress showing support Mm -hmm. for our president. I really wish it would have been earlier. You know, when we were doing the groundwork, when when, when we, see, we used to be out there when it wasn't popular to be on TV talking about our president. But I'm glad to see people are coming out and now say, no, he is our president. Mm -hmm. We love him. And I'm glad that they have courage. And it shows other people, wait a minute. We ha- okay, they have courage. Okay, we can we can support our president. We there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of people in that little sector that love President Trump. Mm-hmm. They're just too afraid to say anything. That's right. But I was happy to see Joy Villa. We even tweeted about it. Come out and show her support for our president. Mm-hmm. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful lady too. Uh, mm. I'm sure she won't be invited to the Academy Awards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how, for, how does it feel to be so famous right now, Diamond and Silk? Uh, really, you know, when I first had you on, you said, you know, you were video bloggers, you'd get a few people would view you and and now you have millions and millions of fans. Uh, what is it? How does it feel to be so famous? Uh, and in our final seconds, uh, please, uh, tell people how they can find you. Well, it feels amazing. I love all of our fans. Hey, y'all, I love y'all so much. Yeah. But you can find us. Uh, we're trying to reach our million likes, so like us on Facebook. We are almost there. Go to Diamond and Silk. Google Diamond and Silk. Follow us on Twitter, Diamond and Silk. Diamond and Silk, Diamond and Silk. Just Google Diamond and Silk, and Google we will Diamond pop up. Diamond and Silk. And keep in mind, the closest thing to an Oscar that Diamond and Silk will be looking at is a hot dog while we're eating it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the Lincoln Reagan dinner is coming up March 4th, 2017 at the DFW airport hyatt regency in denton texas and we're going to be there on march 4th so if you're in town go see us in texas at the leak and reagan dinner march 4th 2017 for tickets dentongop.org diamond and silk thank you so much we're hopping aboard the trump train again you, baby. as they were deporting we're getting out of the state uh, de- maybe deporting is the wrong word we're departing the station right now uh, have a great day ladies thank you so much for joining us thank you for having us All right, there they are, the great Diamond and Silk. We'll be right back.